Hello YouTube, Bookham Dano here. I've got a uh, CGC unboxing. I've got two boxes to open and then I've got uh, some uh, CGC uh, comics that came about a month ago that I've opened and everything but uh, hadn't shown yet. So uh, let's start with those. I sent uh, some comics to uh, Impressive Comics uh, to get pressed uh, before sending them to CGC and um, so five of them were modern comics and then I had three in the like what CGC calls the value tier I guess but the pre-1975 so one Silver Age and two early Bronze Age comics um, so these are the ones I'm showing off now are late Bronze Age I guess and um, uh, so here we go. Uh, so I got these back probably at the end of February, and the the grades are all pretty solid. But I, I was kind of hoping at least one of them would, you know, would have uh, uh, popped just a bit bit higher. Um, but they're all they're all pretty solid. So the first one I've got is uh, Red Sonia. It's a uh, number one. It's Marvel 1977 came as 9.4 so you know it looks looks pretty good to me I have not looked at the at the notes um, well I'm at this point I'm not a CGC member I sent this in through um, impressive comics I'll put I'll put a, a link to his website um, uh, in the in the notes here um, but 9.4, not not too bad. This one, I've got Darkhawk number one, and this is an actual full fledged modern comic from uh, March of '91. Um, you can see it came back 9.4. It's a little tough because there's so many of these out there. Um, you know, selling a 9.4 is going to be a challenge, but um, you never know. They make a movie or something with him. Um, so here is a, I guess, a Copper Age comic. This is uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 21. It's cover B, um, you know, the wedding with uh, Mary Jane Watson. Uh, the cover A has Peter Parker instead of Spider-Man. So that's that's the difference between the two. Um, 9.2, so pretty pretty happy with that. Not a not a real valuable one, but it looks nice. Uh, next one I'm pretty pretty happy with. Very cool. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, number one. Um, came back 9.2. This is uh, also 1977, just like the Red Sonja. So been around for a while. Uh, Came back pretty good, white pages, and uh, you know there's a new Godzilla movie this summer, and I think it's actually called King of Monsters, so that uh, might get a bump for that. And then the last one, this is the lowest grade. Still looks really good to me. Um, so I think there's yeah there's a kind of a bump at the on the back at the top top corner but this is Alpha Flight number one this is also uh, Copper Age I guess 1983 sorry about the glare there uh, came back 9.0 um, you know not not terrible like I said these grades are all pretty solid but I was hoping for uh, you know something I was hoping for the one of them would 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 pop you know so all right this here is I won at an auction last week. Uh, did not pay very much for it. Um, it's from Lone Star Comics. I'm sure everyone knows them. Opening this here, you can see. You know they they do an awesome job of uh, wrapping. So we got this big box filled with packing peanuts, which I hate those things, but 
whatever, and then the, and the slab itself is in another box. So they they do a great job of packing, and that was uh, they charged me four dollars and ninety five cents for for shipping. Um, won the auction last Monday. Um, paid for it on Tuesday morning and received it in yesterday's mail. Yesterday was the following Monday. So uh, in a week, got everything door to door uh, and shipped, you know, amazingly, amazingly well. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I'm a big Descender fan, which is the uh, Jeff Lemire, Dustin Wynn, um, a story uh, from came out in March of uh, 2015. So uh, a few years old now. Matter of fact, they're just in later this month. Um, Ascender comes out, which is their new collaboration, which takes place like 10 years after the events of Descender. So this is one of the variant covers of um, Descender number one. Been been collecting these. Um, not, uh, they're pretty easy to, to come by. I, my, my winning bid was $33. There was a 3% buyer's premium. So that's about another dollar and change. And then the $4 and 95 cent chip shipping. So, you know, that 9.8 white page, um, variant cover, uh, and there's only 500 of these. So, uh, well, actually I have to check that. I, I could be wrong. Some of the variant covers only had 500. This one might be one of the ones that had more. But um, anyway, I did not have this cover. So one of these days I'll show off all the different covers I've got. Okay, so now I've got uh, the last three comics that I sent away to be pressed and graded. These are all either Silver Age um, or very, very early Bronze Age. And I'm I don't know the grades. I haven't. I I didn't uh, look at those ahead of time. Um, so here we go. So this box arrived this afternoon from CGC. And I'm hoping for some for some good grades. There's. There's a Golden Age book in here that is really cool that I'm excited to have. Um, Alright, so. Okay. So there's that. Alright, so here's the first one. This is Jimmy Olsen 135. It is the second um, cameo appearance of Darkseid. I am a little, here we go. So, so came back 7.0. I was kind of hoping for a bit higher on, on this. I originally bought that whole run of um, Jimmy Olsen 134, 135 uh, up through at least 139 um, at an auction, so they're all came together and were pretty much the same shape. Um, but the the main one, 134, I had pressed and graded last year, and that came back as a 9.2. So uh, super happy about that. Um, so this is Dark Side Cameo, first Silver Age Guardian appearance. So they do consider this a Silver Age book, even though it's a 15 center. Um, Neil Adams cover. So that is, I'm trying to do this without the glare. That is pretty. So just come back white pages. So. Cool. All right, here is the next one. This is Brave and the Bold, number 42. It is a Hawkman, and so 
this is from 1962, so um, been around a while, even older than me. Uh, called Center, came back 7.5. This is one where the the pressing I know made a huge difference because I bought this for just a few bucks on an auction on eBay, and I, it had all kinds of um, it was real wavy, um, but it had super nice gloss. I couldn't see any real big color breaks or anything. And um, so I thought with a pressing that would come out nice. Um, I think they listed it at very good on the auction. And um, so we get 7.5, very, very solid. Yeah, that looks great. All right, so the next one is kind of the Kind of the big deal here. So this is four color, number 178. It is the first appearance of Uncle Scrooge. And the cool thing about that is it's the actual first appearance of him. He wasn't in any cartoons or Disney movies or Disney shorts or anything um, prior to this, unlike most of the other Disney characters. So his his first appearance is actually in um, the comic. Um, so this is from 1947. So, you know, uh, these, you know, there's usually a couple of these on on sale for eBay, but they can be a little bit tough to to find. Um, and we got a 4.0, which I'm pretty happy with. I, I this was listed as a 3.0 when I when I got it, so um, got a little bit of a bump here with the with the grade. But that looks pretty pretty nice. A little, a little tanning, I think, on the back. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time.